What it means for FM Global is that, you know, we cannot underwrite well unless we understand the exposures particularly well, which of course is where we bring in our engineering field force and our account engineering force, so that when the underwriters deal with their challenge, you know, which is to understand terms and conditions, to determine the pricing, to, to make sure to, that they allocate capacity properly, they do it on the basis of really knowing the exposure well. And that again is unique to FM Global. You know, we are a, what we call a location-based underwriter. And it really does mean that we you know, gather all this data about a specific location and then put that into the underwriting process. I think the one thing that, that happens with engineers in this company, and I think it's because of their sort of intuitively analytical minds, that they are in a pretty good position to kind of understand the underlying dynamics of, of risk and loss. They tend to understand or have an intuitive feel for what can go wrong in, in a manufacturing environment or in any type of environment and how to respond to that. So we have created the company with, with lots of engineers and lots of analytical minds and it allows us to kind of you know, pull apart the elements of risk and then put them together in a way that provides a product for clients. FM Global is a more stable company uh, in terms of its, its product and its financial strength, and, but it really follows directly from our business model, you know, which really is based on the fact that the majority of loss is preventable, so we work with clients so that the, their work environments are safe which reduces the probability of loss, and, and when loss does occur, it reduces the impact of it. So we kind of control the ultimate kind of financial consequence of an insurance risk, and by doing that, we can offer more stability. And then we do it within, the, within a corporate structure that is private. I mean, it's client-owned, and we really don't have to account to outside stockholders. And really the consequence of that is that we can accept a little more volatility in the result because we don't have a financial market kind of looking at us and, and adjusting our share value kind of based on what happened yesterday. So we can take a longer term view and that very much contribute to being able to offer stability to clients.